What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back to the next episode. So before we continue, make sure you run by base. Um, I keep forgetting to do it, but you can upgrade your Sanguine Erics. And then we have one more upgrade that we're going to get by the time we're done with this area. But from here, we're going to head on out. Head on over here to the uh, lava and the smoke we see in the distance to fight a Ruiner and some Fire Thralls. So, as soon as you see him, let's give him the old thunder down under. I think two of those should be sufficient to really mess him up. And then just go ahead and pick up all the goodies. It should be three. Two things of salt and then the uh, Paladin's Pendant, which we got. Ruiner armor. Uh, the Ruiner, it's, I mean, I don't know. I've tried to get him in the lava, and I don't think it actually kills him, but feel free to try if you want. Okay, so ahead we want to snipe the archer that's up to the right, and then kill the one that's on the left. This is the part I was thinking of. So you can kind of see it right now. Since we're a caster, we'll need to, uh, a little closer. There we go. I guess it interrupted my cast. There we go. Now you're definitely dead. Alright, so after that, come back over here. Break through that. Grab the explosive bolts. And then we continue up for a dog, a rogar, and a fire thrall. So we're going to go inside of here first. I plant a seed right here. I know we're not very far from the base, but this is like the, the first entrance to the castle. So it's really worth it to have a seed for that spot just because that's it's a really good uh, a restart location. I don't know where the dog went. Maybe it's up ahead. Um, hit the promise map later. So continue out. I have, um, should be like one piece of loot along here. As we go up top, there's a Rogar that's going to try and ambush you, so just be very cautious here. And we're going to go down this way. Find another Skin Stealer. Pick up this little goodie. And go over here. Kill that guy and drop down. Up ahead, we're gonna enter Umbral. I like doing it a little bit farther back because there are some gargoyles. the one. The other one is not coming. I don't see him at least. Anyway, roll down. Grab all the salts. There's another one. And from here, we can go across to there. And I believe that's it. Um, I've looked through this area a bit. I thought there might be something else, like with all the, the Umbral stuff here, but I, I never could find anything, so. 
Anyway, after that, let's head on inside. Rest up, and now we are ready to tackle Brahma's castle proper. Let's see how many seedlings we have real fast. Three, that should be enough. So we're gonna go ahead and get the map of Brahma's castle. As uh, soon as we are inside. Oh, this is a little buggy right now. I expect this texture to get fixed, but you can like kind of jump past it and then roll back down. But yeah, I've already made the devs aware of it, so they know. I'm gonna be fighting a lot of them. Anyway, after the first one is dead, we can round this corner here. We'll take you out of you before you try and cause any trouble. Uh, now, opening this door, there is a stigma right here and a shortcut that we can kick down. We are not gonna get this stigma just yet. There's gonna be a section of the castle where we have to be in Umbral, so we're just gonna save it for later. But just kind of pointing that out. All right, uh, let's see. Ruin her immediately inside. We're going to go ahead and grab this one. And we're going to run all the way up the staircase. Now we're going to rotate this in a little bit. For now, that way is locked. We need a key to open it. Instead, we're going to go all the way up here. Pull him and grab this and heal up a little bit. I suggest saving your trio heals for now. Uh, main reason being that those are going to be super useful when you, it comes time to fight the Red Reaper. Can I get a lock on you from here? No, I can't. That's okay. Using the secondary heals I think is fine, but definitely save your triple for the, the Red Reaper encounter. Alright, so we are going to run on over to this doorway. Just to recap, that's where we first came in. That's where the guy was. That's where the shortcut was. So we're basically proceeding along what I would consider the left side of the castle. Now, stuff like this is from a Conflagrant Seer, so just do your best to avoid it. We're going to be working to take that Seer down in a little bit. Stone Trio. Over here we have a loot chest with a bunch of upgrade mats. I'm definitely saving on to those large deliriums because we're going to be getting a, a weapon that pairs with Pietas pretty soon. Uh, and you might be able to target the Seer from here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and toss out a lightning on her. We'll also toss out a lightning on him. This is all stuff that we're going to want to kill at one point or another. Is that enough? Beautiful. Work your way through killing the fire thralls. We're gonna umble through this door. Then give us access to the smoldering ring. Whoa! Very antsy. Uh, this area has a bunch of those thralls, so just kind of walk past nonchalantly, take them all out. Just boop, boop. do that. Pull this. Obviously kill the guy that we pulled that was right below if you haven't yet. Hey, we got a Rogar heart. Nice. Go ahead and top off, I think. I go ahead and bust this down. Uh, let's see. Through the gate in front of you. I'm just checking the notes. Get the upgrade match chest. The head for more thralls and a seer. Through the gate in front of you with a lantern for a ring. Did that... Back where the seer was for more thralls, turn the lever to rotate the staircase, break open the wall, and enter to kill the rogar and ambush the sorceress, grab loot. So we kill him. Pick up Heavenly Vial. And then right out here, kill her.
And this is just the area that would have connected to here. We just uh, basically just went through that and approached it from behind. Allowed us to sneak up on the sorceress as well as the Rogar guy. Alright, so we're going to grab this. And then we can push this, and this is actually a hidden door. This will take us back to that, that uh, vestige that we're still going to get a little bit later. Uh, let's see, continue to where the seer was in Fire Knight. Safe in the site below. Okay. We're going to go do the underground portion next. Now, when you know what you're doing in this place, man, it's breezing through it. Before we go down below, there is a parasite that we want to pop. There's also a reaper that's hanging around here, so just be a little cautious. Right around here should be good. It's actually tied to a uh, sorceress that's down there. I don't see her right now. She at? Uh, she paths around, so I'm trying to get eyes on her. Because that lower area is, is a veritable shit show with the amount of stuff down there. You can see the mimic. Oh, it looks like the stuff's not spawning. That's so weird. Hmm. Well, this is probably going to go poorly, but we're just going to drop in. forever. Trying to take my time on her. Yeah, besides her, the Rogar and the dog are usually over this way. I oh, know it's a separate Rogar and her dog. Yeah, Y'all are just going up on me, aren't you? It's crazy to think this is basically a mage build, right? Like, we are, we are cruising considering we're a mage build. Anyway, as you proceed through here, there's just a bunch of dogs, so I would suggest you just throw out an AoE. And afterwards, we get the Mimic. Stressful than I would prefer. Actually, that was stupid. There's no point to heal there because we're going to go Umber in a second. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop it. There's going to be some gargoyles we got to take out. And there should be one more gargoyle. There's the Lord's Bite. So we got the Lord's Bite, and I believe that was it. It was just Lord's Bite. Go ahead and exit. Let's confirm. Enter room to the gears for two gargoyles, Lord's Bite's fist weapon, and immediately exit afterwards. Get the mimic in the back of the room. Then go to the stairs for holy salts and back up in the castle. We're going to head to open the shortcut door and grab the loot near the gate and fire thralls. Good time to rest and reset. 
which I agree with me, past self. This is a good time to rest and reset. Alright, so at this point we have basically cleared out the entire bottom floor uh, with the exception of a, an umbral zone we have to go to later of the castle. And that is good. I'm going to open this up. This will give us access to a shortcut. And open this gate. Grab this loop. And this is right back over here. The, uh, the vestiges over that way. Uh, but we're actually not going to rest here. We're going to rest back at the seed that we created earlier. So this is actually, I guess we can just go ahead and grab the... Uh... No, I'll grab it later. Because we're going to have to sit and wait and waste time otherwise. So, and upgrade and then we will rest. Right. We'll go up here. And we'll blow his ass up. Enjoy the radiance. After that, we're going to take the ladder on up. So, scroll in the notes. It's funny is I have the notes on an entire page, but I always like reading at the top of the page, so I'm constantly scrolling them. Uh, so kill the ruiner, head up the stairs uh, immediately to your right. This guy's the parasite, so go right here. There we go. The parasite. Be very careful about going umble here. There's reapers that are waiting to attack you. It's the Lord set. It's really cool. And then there are a bunch of these basic guys and a archer way in the back. So we're gonna go ahead. Sound them some thunder. You wanna try and get the lock on her and summon the thunder. There we go. Another one. There's also a dog over there. So try and get the lock on him. God, I love that spell so much. Go ahead and open this door. This says, I think there's a single thrall here along with uh, two shortcuts that we're going to open up. So we have this right here, which is just down to that room where we ambush the Rogar and the Sorceress and grab the Heavenly Vial. An umbral path across here. And we can unlock this door. So you may remember there's the Rogar that we pushed down earlier. I wouldn't suggest entering Umbral just yet. We are going to in a little bit, and that's why we want this exit. We want that to be available to us. Uh, hallway oh yes, throw a second archer, fire door on your right, open the door for the humble path, back to where the archers were, take the middle path, okay. I'm gonna take this middle path now and get the royal key, which is waiting for us right here. This is gonna be a pathway we'll open a little bit later. Now we're gonna... You know what, since you're being annoying, I'm gonna make this easier on myself. Blow him up. Kill the two dogs. And this is the doorway that we ran past earlier when the uh, before we rotated the thing. So just to you know, kind of piece together where we're at, where we're going, all that stuff. Um, open door, enter Umbral, and kill the Reaper. Okay, Reaper time.
Alright, so after the Reaper is down, we're not here. Pull this. We're gonna run this way. Walk out onto the ledge. Pull the middle platform. This one, I believe, is a jump. The belly. Pull that guy back. And we'll just run back to that umbral exit that we saw earlier. So just swinging on over here. Exiting. We're going to take this path and go back to the staircase and continue up. So we're going to open the door. This will take us into the library. This is blocked off. Yes, okay. We go this way. Um, go to the library. We should have the Lord Catalyst in the chest that's over this way. It's a decent starter catalyst, but uh, unfortunately gets outclassed by quite a few. Miranda, Rogar Heart, final boss one. Uh, there's an Umbral exit here, but I couldn't actually find anything Umbral to do up here. So, if you know something, drop it in the comments. I'm going to go up top. Um, upstairs for two dogs and an archer. No chance. Uh, two dogs and an archer. Outside is going to be the ammo pouch, and then below is two ruiners. Pick up the animated vigor skulls in the corner. If you're worried about the ruiners, you can place one. I don't think you should be worried. So the lock on's far for this guy, but we have ways to deal with this. So uh, we are going to go throwing for a second. And we're just going to try and yeet one out all the way at him. This is just to get his attention, really. If he sits in it, that's even greater. We can, uh... Go. He was poisoned. I don't know if we can also burn him, but... Oh. There we go. Now he's coming to us, and that's exactly what we want. Because now, now that he's coming, we can lock on and actually do damage to him. We didn't die. Now we did. The other one is right over here. This is cruising through even easier than the Umbra Bolt was. This is beautiful. Large Delirium Shard. That's a nice drop. Thank you, sir. Some Frostbite Salts out there. Uh, salts on Balcony. Then downstairs into the bedroom for the Lord Mask, the Swaddling Cloth, and then looped by the Secret Door. So into the Lord's Bedroom. Grab the Swaddling Cloth. That goes to our NPC. Grab the Lord Mask. I think there's anything umbral in this place. Over here, you can see that was the king and queen before everything went to shit. And then we're gonna go that way, but first we're gonna run on down. Grab this. And this is gonna open us a shortcut door. So this is back where we picked up the royal key.
All right, now going out here, uh, you're supposed to do it with an umbral path, but honestly, I would just roll and drop. You're going to take a little bit of damage, but it's a hell of a lot less risky. But here, pick up the fire ward. Have a crystal, then walk down the crystal, continue ahead. All right, so now we're going to do the suicide run for the seer. Now, similar to the other seer, if we kill this thing, it's going to remove a bunch of the crystals, and what it's going to do is it's going to give us a shortcut back to the visage through here. But right now, that doorway is blocked by the seer. Now, with our particular class, this is actually going to be really easy because we can just kill this ruiner before the seer is able to do anything to us. you are not OP spell class. Instead, the biggest thing is just getting this guy down. So, rush him. Even if you die and go into Umbral, as long as he's dead, you're good. That's that's the most important thing. Because with him dead, the crystals are going to break. That's going to give us access to go back to the base. And, uh, yeah. Things are good. So, well, since we also killed Ruiner, I guess we could just knock this out now, too. Roll off. This is going to give us a Delirium Chunk. Drop down. Pick up Bartholomew's Hammer. There's some more stuff here, but we're not going to do that just yet. It's Umbral stuff, so we'll save that. Uh, now we want to not go to the boss. Instead, we want to run and turn in the swaddling cloth. So, go this way. Right on over here. And that oh, over. My truths like heath. So, this is one of the last times you're going to be able to talk to her. Um, buy out her inventory if there's stuff you need. You know, spells, whatever the case is. And real fast, before you, you do that run, the reason I say it's a suicide run, I mean, you could put one here, but the thing is, even if you die, if that seer goes down, the crystals that are blocking this door are gone, and then you can just run immediately back, even if you die to the Ruiner. So, uh, we are going to wrap things up here for now. We still have a good bit left. Uh, we have to go through the, the umbral portion of stuff next. So, we are actually going to warp back to our seedling, and that is where we are going to pick up the next episode. Next episode, we will uh, go through the umbral portion. We'll get our final saintly quintessence for an upgrade. And then uh, after that, it's final boss and then proceeding to the final ending. So we are, we are almost to the end. But stay tuned. I'll catch you all soon as we continue.